Pogori, my students. It's your teacher. Cut for words. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? I don't know if I can do this today. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well get this over with. Even though I'm bloated and irritable and nobody cares about me, I give and I give and I give it to you people. When do I get some me time? <laughs> okay, I'm feeling a little bit better. Let's do this. You might have already guessed, Hat for Words investigates PMS. Candy bar! Hot words. PMS stands for premenstrual syndrome. The term dates from 1885. Pre means of time or order of succession, in this case, before. Menstrual from the Latin menstrualis, meaning monthly, especially of having monthly courses, relating to the menses or menstruation. Up until 1928, PMS was called premenstrual tension. PMS is a collection of physical, psychological, and emotional symptoms related to the time of the month, or the curse, or my monthly visitor, or whatever your grandma used to call it. More than 200 different symptoms have been associated with PMS including but not limited to screaming at the waitress who forgot your side of range dressing even though you feel too bloated to eat range dressing anyway breaking up with your boyfriend two days before valentine's day and then slashing the tires on his car when he doesn't send you candy retaining so much water the city declares you a public reservoir stay in bed to watch opera and judge duty and divorce courts and the price is right even though you don't think drew carey is fine i discovered 32 new symptoms today and it isn't even noon when women first started to report these symptoms, they were often told it was all in their head. By a bunch of doctors who were all men. Doctors and scientists debated whether or not this was an illness or a socially constructed disorder, meaning that women just made it up. I mean, yeah, right. More serious attention was given to PMS in the 1980s. I think German women tore down the Berlin Wall to get to some chocolate on the other side. I'm serious! Who stole my damn candy? So that's it, people. I'm going to take a nap. Ladies, your homework is to take a hot bath and have a cocktail. Gentlemen, go to the comment section below and put some ideas for nice things you can do when a woman you know is crabby because of PMS. Oh, thank you.